Hey guys, this is Sidra. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Educate with Sidra. In this video, we will cover the chapter number four of O Levels Chemistry, and the chapter number four is Element, Compound, and Mixture. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. So let's start the video. First, we discuss about what is matter. Matter is basically has two classification. Physical classification and chemical classification. In physical classification is divided into three types solid, liquid, and gas. And what is solid and what is uh, liquid and gas uh, we have already covered in the previous slides okay uh, and uh, the chemical classification has two things one is pure substance and the other is impure substance that is we call mixture mixture may be uh, uh, classified into two again things like uh, it has homogeneous uh, mixture it can be a heterogeneous mixture homogeneous uh, mixture and heterogeneous mixture in the pure substance is uh, divided into two things elements and compounds and compounds can be consist of it can be organic organic compounds it may be inorganic compounds right so this is all about matter it classified into physical and chemical classification in physical classification we have uh, solid liquid and gas in chemical classification we have two things pure substance and mixture mixture can be homogeneous mixture it can be heterogeneous mixture and in the pure substance is basically uh, we have two things uh, elements and compounds and the compounds can be organic and inorganic okay so this is all about matter now what is atom atom is basically the smallest particle of an element having chemical properties of that element example noble glasses each element has only one type of atom uh, which we know which we call as monoatomic element like for example in noble gas it, it, the noble gases can be uh, helium uh, you know this thing it can be helium it can be neon it can be argon okay these are all element exist as individual atoms okay now molecule molecule is basically composed of two or more atoms chemically bonded together example chlorine molecule cl2 oxygen molecule o2 how we describe the molecules okay i'm writing here according to the number of atoms it has four types one two three and four the first is monoatomic elements monoatomic elements second is diatomic elements the diatomic element we cannot say a diatomic element we have to say this thing diatomic molecule okay because we have already started the atom is basically the um, uh, it can be each element has only one type of atom okay so third is triatomic molecule and polyatomic molecule okay if a monoatomic element it means uh, are we having only one atom like uh, xenon radon i'm writing here krypton kr etc these are all the symbols i'm writing here okay uh, right and if uh, the diatomic molecule means di means two it means two atoms like cl2 
O2 oxygen 2, hydrogen 2, like H2, N2, nitrogen 2, right? Triatomic molecule means having three atoms. It can be ozone, like O3. Okay? And polyatomic means, poly means more, like, uh, so more than three, more than three atoms is, uh, means uh, polyatomic molecule. It can be uh, phosphorus, P4, S8, that is sulfur, etc. Right, so this is the according to the number of atom. And uh, one thing more that uh, molecule can be uh, like uh, two types uh, having. I'm writing here. Molecule can be homoatomic molecule. Homoatomic molecule. And it can be heteroatomic molecule. Homo means same, it means same number of atom. For example, H2 having two hydrogen uh, atom, sulfur S8 having uh, eight uh, atoms of sulfur, but they are same, same atom. So it means this, this is the homoatomic molecule. Hetero means it can be different type of atom. Hetero atom means different type of atom. For example, carbon dioxide. This is a molecule. It means carbon is uh, one atom and oxygen is another atom. Right? And water, oxygen is uh, other atom and hydrogen is other atom. So, there are two different types of basically atoms. It means different type of atom. So, it, mean, it means heteroatomic molecule. And same type of atom, it means homoatomic molecule. So, this is all about molecules. Let's... Uh, Change the slide. Okay. Now elements. Elements is basically the pure substance that cannot be broken down into smaller, into the simpler substances by chemical process. Its basic unit is atom. Example is uh, carbon. I'm writing here carbon. It can be hydrogen. It can be oxygen. These are all the elements that cannot be broken down into the simpler substances. Calcium, Ca, carbon uh, C, hydrogen and iron, iron Fe. These are all the examples. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, the uh, element is basically the pure substance that cannot be broken down into the simpler substances. Okay. The question ar arises about sugar and water. Okay, tell me, sugar and water, is this the element? No. Why? Because this is a mixture, it can be broken down into two different things. Like sugar can be broken down into the carbon and water vapors. Sugar solution can be broken down into the carbon and water vapors. And water vapors again broken down into the hydrogen and oxygen. Right? So, uh, we cannot say that sugar solution is the element. Okay? Okay, now we have, uh, up till now we have 118 elements, right, earlier we uh, will have, we will having uh, 9 elements, now we have uh, 94 uh, naturally occurring elements, it has naturally occurring uh, elements, 24 is basically the synthetic elements, Eighty uh, out of eighty uh, out of one one eight eighty having uh, at least the one isotope. And thirty eight are radioactive isotopes. Thirty eight elements having radioactive isotopes. So this is all about elements. Now compounds. Compound basically the pure substance containing two or more elements chemically bonded in a fixed ratio. It is represented the chemical formula. Example is hydro, uh, water H2O. Its ratio is 2 is to 1. 2 is for hydrogen and 1 is for oxygen. Right. If we add one more high oxygen in this uh, water then what will uh, the ratio become? 2 is 2, 2, right? So that it will be the hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, right? That will be the hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, okay? 
so this is the compound again we have binary compound as well in the binary compounds it means having two elements like uh, nacl uh, sodium and chlorine there are two elements magnesium oxide it is mgo iron sulfide that is fes carbon dioxide co2 uh, carbon and oxygen right so this is a combination of uh, these are the combination of atomic symbols of the two elements present okay so these are the binary compounds there are other compound as well having more than three uh, more than two elements like for example copper sulfate cuso4 there are three elements copper sulfur and oxygen calcium carbonate there are again three elements calcium carbon and oxygen so there are three elements present in this compounds can be made up of uh, molecules or ions because nacl is an ion okay and uh, water is a molecule so it can be made up of molecules and it can be made up of ions and they are represented by the chemical formula like uh, h2o is a chemical formula h2o2 is a chemical formula what about uh, h2so4 this is again the chemical formula of uh, sulfuric acid so what is the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 4 like 2 is for hydrogen 1 is for sulfur and 4 is for oxygen okay let nitrate p b n o 3 whole twice now confused this is whole yes for lead this is 1 now for nitrogen this is 2 not this is 1 and for oxygen this is 6 6 is for oxygen this is for nitrogen and this is for p b okay how is it when we open the back bracket this will be n2 and o6 okay this two will be multiplied by both things because this is whole bracket so remember this thing yes now the question arises does a compound have the same properties as the element that form it so let's take an example uh, for this that is magnesium burn in oxygen uh this is magnesium right burns uh, in oxygen and form a compound that is mgo that is magnesium oxide burns with oxygen and form magnesium oxide that is mgo this is magnesium oxide so magnesium oxide has the different properties as compared to the magnesium and oxygen okay it has a different properties as compared to um, uh, the magnesium and oxygen right magnesium is basically Uh, it's silvery solid it is silvery solid and uh, oxygen is a colorless gas and magnesium oxide is basically white solid okay so we can say this thing that uh, now you got the answer for this question right okay so this is just an example now next topic is mixture mixture is uh, made up of two or more uh, substances uh, that are not chemically bonded and in substance this substance can be an element or a compound okay it can be an element or compound right means this thing that uh, compound are formed by combining different elements uh cannot say this thing that compounds are the mixture of elements we cannot say this thing that they can compounds uh, uh it is a mixture of uh, element compound and mixture have different properties right and this example is carbon dioxide water this is a mixture of uh, carbon dioxide and water this is an example of mixture and uh, hydrogen and uh, neon right and uh, uh, i said this thing it compound and mixture have different uh, properties so uh, so what is the difference between this uh, compound and mixture compound basically uh, they are chemically bonded okay they are uh, chemically uh, bonded compound are chemically bonded while the mixture are not chemically bonded so this is the main difference okay So it's made up of two or more substances that can be an element, it can be a compound, and are not chemically bonded. So we can say compound are formed by combining different elements. Cannot say this thing that compounds are the mixture of elements. Okay. So uh, okay. An example is carbon dioxide and water, and uh, another example is alloys. Alloys are also the mixture, 
like for example alloy is basically the mixture of metals with other elements uh, that is can be any metal or can be any non metal for example alloy let's take an example of alloy brass brass is a combination of copper and zinc okay and um, uh, sandwich is al also an example uh, sandwich is a mixture uh, okay you can separate the part of it easily so we can say this thing the separate uh, the sandwich is also a mixture right now the difference between compound and mixture compound is having the uh, composition is fixed as the element always present in a fixed ratio so we can say the composition is fixed as the element always present in a fixed ratio in the mixture it can vary because the components of a mixture can be present in any ratio by mass okay like for example sandwich okay you know second uh, is uh, compound has uh, his own physical properties while the mixture physical in the mixture the physical properties of the mixture are an average of its components third is compound has its own chemical properties because we uh, already studied in the previous example of magnesium oxide is different from those uh, of the constituent element okay while in uh, mixture uh, the chemical properties are same as a combination of the um, its components so the chemical properties are same in compound when compound is uh, formed chemical reaction take place and bonds are formed and in mixture it is a there is no chemical bonding mixture is a physical process okay compound cannot be broken down by physical uh, process only broken down uh, into its uh, elements or simpler compound by the chemical process it can be only broken down by the chemical process for example electrolysis or thermal decomposition while the mixture can be separated by the physical process for example you can say filtration filtration distillation uh, okay these are all the example magnetic separation so these are all the example of a uh, mixture so this is all about the differences uh, let's take one more example uh, in compound we can just say this thing that heat the mixture of iron filling and uh, sulfur powder if you heat the iron and sulfur uh, sulfur powder compound form that is called iron sulfide okay iron sulfide okay and is not resemble uh, to the iron and sulfur okay so this is an example of compound and in a mixture we say this thing a mixture is uh, obtained by adding sulfur powder to the iron filling we just mix the sulfur powder to the iron filling there is no chemical reaction so we can say this is a mixture right so these are the two different example in this we have to heat the iron with the uh, sulfur so iron sulfide is formed in this we just only mixing the iron and sulfur so this is an example of mixture this is all about so thank you for watching my video and uh, please subscribe my channel like the video and comment thank you